Hello and welcome to the first brew tube of 2024. Happy New Year everybody. I'm doing dry January. I hope you've been watching the Dear Dryery, my short daily series throughout January. Today, not a massive fan of this, but I'm going to be trying an alcohol free beer. I don't remember to be honest where this was bought. It was bought as like a six pack or something. It's one of like sort of the budgety ones. It's little or oldy something like that. There was one left in my beer fridge and I was like, why not? Let's crack it open. Let's see what it's like. My uh, Mercalli glass, very big fan of them as well. Pours a beautiful crystal clear color, golden color, light golden color, lively carbonation. Smells incredibly malty little bit sweet I have to say I'm very impressed very surprised by this I hope you're enjoying this content and if you are please hit the like button you do get the malty sweetness maybe a little bit of like flour uncooked bread something like that it's actually surprisingly nice it tastes maybe sort of not as sweet as the um, sort of canned shandies, but sort of the top deck style stuff. It's actually surprisingly nice. There's the sweetness, there's the maltiness, and there's even like a slight bitterness at the end. So it's kind of ticking some boxes. Never been a big fan of the alcohol free beers. I hate them AF. I don't agree with them in principle. It's part of the experience of having the beer is the yeastiness. You're gonna have flavors from the fermentation. A lot of the alcohol free beers I have tried are fairly watery and pretty insipid. I hope you're enjoying this video. And if you really are, hit the subscribe. They just don't have that much flavour. I do remember liking the Erdinger alcohol-free beer. I enjoyed the Ghost Ship alcohol-free the first time I had it. I had it over the summer at a picnic and it just didn't seem to have that same flavour. The first time that I tried it, it almost tasted exactly like Ghost Ship does. So this Rheinbacher Pilsner is actually uh, um, quite a surprise, quite a uh, dark horse for a light beer. It is also a 0-0% beer. Sometimes you get in the 0.5s, they're creeping up to like sort of the uh, the small beers, it's all 2.5%. Dry January means dry January. No matter how much it's raining out there, this will be a dry month. I'm just not quite sure if I can actually bear to not be showering. There will be other beers coming. There will be a dark beer, and there will also then be another lager style and hazy. Like I said, I have been doing a month-long saga, Dear Dryery. I'm not going to be putting a link up there. I don't want you clicking away. I'll put the link at the end. My short saga over January, no. <clears throat> I don't want you clicking away if I was to be putting... Oh, no. Okay, that's a lot for the moment. See you again soon.